I also have been muted this whole time. Um, hello. I, um, had the music turned down, so I had to turn it back up. I don't know why it's Christmas music. I don't know if that's gonna change. I tried to see if there was an update. It did not say that there was an update. Okay. So, I also, I tried to... Let me just go back to the menu. <clears throat> I tried to, so new game, just like go into career. What the heck am I supposed to do here? Um, I had a, a, a game that I had, you know, done months ago, but it didn't seem to want to come up, so I just did a new game. Okay. I am the manager of this place. But before we start, three important things you need to know in case you get lost, okay? First of all, button binding hints are always displayed in the bottom right corner. Cool, thanks. Two, during this tutorial, you can view your task in the bottom left. It will auto-save between stages. If you get lost or stuck, you can always go back, okay. <coughs> Last owner left it in a sorry state. Get the phone. We need to call some professionals. Phone's over here. Hello. Get the gas cooker running ASAP, okay? Follow the marker. Oh, take the phone with you. Oh, okay. Use the scroll. Oh, okay. So we're gonna want a good one and not just but that's also more money. I'm gonna go with this guy though. One down, four to go. Fix oven and deep fryers. Um. Oh, that's for company use. Interesting. Okay, well in that case. I don't know why you can only use each company a certain amount of times. <clears throat> Go with you. the phone. Hope I won't be needing it anytime soon. Cool. Thank you. <coughs> Place is about... Place is empty and we're gonna do something about it, okay? First, you need utensils. Find the cardboard boxes. Hover over one press... Okay. So, utensils. Buy a blender. Yes, because that's the most important thing to buy first. Put the blender away. putting it away. There we go, okay. It would be faster if you move the box over over and press E. Put it up on the counter. Shop to buy equipment from the list. What list? What am I buying? Big tray. Put you yeah, I'm working on it, lady. Need two big pots. I'm working on it. Don't rush me. Am I just buying all the stuff that's on the list? Yeah. I feel like this is how I had it set up when I did it last time. So we're gonna try and same. You went right there. Got 
the tools, but we don't have a recipe. Go to the laptop. Yes! Hey, insect. Sorry, I was so focused. Yeah, it seems to be going better than the first time I played it, because the first time was chaos. Um, recipe manager. On the not owned tab. Oh, there we go. Your head was in the way. Big trout. Clicking the highlighted button. Tomato soup. Do for now. Okay. Make sure my head's in a good spot. I'll move it in a second. Um, how do I get out? There we go. Seems like it's in a good spot for now. Prepares utensils, recipes. Ah, yes, we need spices. Where am I supposed to go? Why are you, why are you hanging out like that? Hang on. I need to put you right. Also, why can I not put it back on the shelf that was just on? I can't place it here. Fine. Spices and buy salt. The most important spice. See, just like buying utensils. Now put it away. I found it easier to put them all here. <clears throat> so that I had them when I wanted to use them. Okay. Buy. Well, hang on. Pick you up. That works. Nope. Put down. Oh my gosh. Stop hitting that button. There you go. Black pepper. I am. <laughs> I know she keeps popping in to still say the same thing. I get it, lady. Ew. Okay. Still need some liquids. Go to a box and open the shop. Buy all listed products, okay. Um, I'm gonna put these here. Come on, there you go. There we go. <coughs> okay, I did my part. Let's see how well you do yours. I want you to serve me a big trout, okay? At the end, I'll rate you just as a regular guest would. Don't worry, you have some help. I'm pretty sure this is the, uh... Yeah! <laughs> George Ramsey wannabe. <laughs> At the end, I'll rate you just as a, a regular guest. Don't worry, you have some help. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go to the marked area, okay. Each product costs money. Fish. Thank you for the fish. Put it on a cutting board. Black pepper. Dill and thyme. Five grams each. Oh. Hang on. Um... Oh, jeez. Till and time. Take the trout, put it on a baking tray. Where did I put the tray? There we go. Now the thing with this game is the physics are so bad if you move the wrong way it will drop everything top dial to turn it on okay now we leave it for 90 seconds where's my little timer we need a lemon buy one set timer 1:30. set I'm working on it, dude. Why are they under the baking sheet? Do I buy it from here? Oh, that's right. The market thing is over here. Place it on the cutting board. Use the knife. Cut it into four pieces. Try and make it even, okay? How do I enter cutting mode? There we go. Um, also, things fall, and you can't hold them. 
One, two, oh my gosh, three. Can you throw stuff? Um. Yes. <laughs> Middle mouse. <laughs> there you go. Um. Okay. What else? What else did you say, dude? I'm sorry. I guess just wait for this to be done. <coughs> Okay, yeah, bake for 90 seconds. Transparent plate. Well, let me put the... Let me get the plate out. I'm gonna use this one. I like this plate. You can also drop and break plates just by, like, moving around corners too fast. Um... No. My fish is done! Thank you, you can shut up now. I bought a big plate. Okay. A fish. Five grams of horseradish. Pick up the plate with the trout. Pick up the lemon quarters. I already put them on. Oh, close that. Just casually leaving the door open and get thyme or parsley. Good, dish is done. There we go. This is a lot less chaotic than the first time I played it. Okay, click on order up. Yeah, you better give me five stars. Yes, this please. Okay. Alright, good deal. Now, I do remember the tutorial being quite different from the actual game once you start. Not quite different, but so somewhat different. Okay, we want to get a five-star rating. Please don't go bankrupt. <laughs> I'll try. <laughs> you do, when as you level up, it gets easier, too. Oh, choose perk. What do I want to do? Get more skill points. Magic wand that re removes all stains and shards. Steady hands. Oh, this, probably. Fast feet. Bottles never break. Plates never break. Heat proof gloves. Long reach. Thermal vision. Ooh, that's nice. Refund in order. Connections. Busy day. Dish analyzer. So you can see what they think before. Manager's trust. Time slows down while cutting ingredients. That's kind of nice, but that's for later. I want steady hands first. No points are used to unlock on the blah, blah, blah. <coughs> How many skill points do I have? Just the one. Oh, I have three. So guess pay more. You earn more cooking points. Your rewards from the quest are larger. Kitchen de decorations cost less. I don't really care about that right now. You earn more experience per dish. You earn more fame points, more fame points. Cheaper ingredients. Cheaper, cheaper, cheaper. Tips are larger. Derpers? What are derpers? Products need two, three, four times more time to burn. Products lose temperature slower. Equipment breaks slower. You lose less pain points. Okay, I'm going to start with more cooking points. Um... We'll start with that costing less. I have three, right? Why won't... Okay, yeah. 
I just have to do them one at a time. Okay, we'll start with the products costing less, less, and then we'll do the more time to burn. Okay, start next day. <coughs> All right, good morning. So we have a prep phase, a cooking phase where everyone's ordering and whatnot, and then a um, cleanup phase at the end of the day. In order to do it, we can use anything to prepare. I'm gonna move, if I can, move this box back here. I don't know why I can't. Put it down, my gosh. <sighs> Weird. I really use this for anything. Give me a countdown on the prep. Oh, use laptop. Bills. Oh, I already spent them. You can turn on the radio. <coughs> Head on to the Perk Browser app. What's that? Here you can review re already own perks. Okay. Okay, well you didn't let me, <laughs> you didn't let me do any prep. Hi Gordon. First order, salmon steak and boiled potatoes. Find a big pot, fill it with water. Okay, add salt. Two potatoes while holding the pot, all right. One potato, two potato. Place the pot on the cooker and boil for 120 seconds. Well, how do I know it's been 120 seconds? Was that two minutes? Okay, get a salmon steak. Sure, place the fish on the cutting board. Then with salt and paper. How much? Five and five. Ah! Too much pepper. Oh, add to the pan. Place it on the cooker. Get the sunflower oil. Pour. Oh, 20 milliliters? Salmon in the pan. Fry the steak for 60 seconds, okay. How do I know it's been 60 seconds? Okay. I know I have to flip it and this is the part that's really bad. Turns around a plate. Okay, I'm gonna put this back up for a second. Give me. I like these big plates, but I guess I'll use this one. Once that's done, I'm gonna need to transfer them. Oh, it does. Okay, it does tell you here. I forgot about that. 
So I'm actually going to turn off this timer. Um. Stops making the frying noise. Oh gosh. Where's the plate? Where's the plate? Ah! I'm trying, dude! Shut up! Flip the salmon. Give me the spatula! Okay. This is the weird part. Okay. I did it. <laughs> It's, for some reason, it's really weird to do it with the spatula. That one was not bad. Last time was really hard. Do I need to salt the potatoes? No, they're just boiled potatoes. Can I just pick it up once it's done? Put way too much pepper on it. So stand here and watch it. No other customers exist. Okay, it's done. Right? Do I need any? Don't you fall. No, just serve on plate? Okay. Don't you fall. Put it down. Put it down. What the heck? Put it, put it down. What are you doing? What the heck? Put it on the counter. I'm trying to serve it to the people. What's your deal? I fried the salmon filet. Why are you trying to tell me to fry the salmon filet? I already fried it. Ick. Don't turn, don't burn the place down. They like not count it as fried on the second side? I don't get it. What need to do? Oh, okay. That's good enough. It's done. I don't know what else you wanted me to do. It's fine. <laughs> put it... Put the thing down. You see what you did? There you. That's the only way I could actually figure out on how to clean these things is to literally just throw them in the sink. <clears throat> I can think is that I put too much pepper in it.
before the potatoes like weren't cooked enough. Yeah, you're fine. Ten grams, jeez. Maybe he's gonna finish first. Okay, now you're frying. Are we good? Okay, potatoes are done. Turn that off. Finishing cooking. <coughs> Why'd you stop frying? I don't know if it like burns off the oil. Like what the deal with that is. Alright, are you done? Why can't I put you down? Hang on. Yeah, there's not there's nothing more to that recipe. I mean fry salmon filet. I'm stuck. Sixty seconds on each side. I thought I did that. Like I waited for the loading to go up. Even if not, I don't remember not being able to put it put it down. I mean. What is that? No. Give me. There we go. Gordon, help. I can't interact with anything else. You're not supposed to garnish it. Like, I didn't get any. Nothing said I have to garnish. Yes, go get some parsley maybe. But like other than that, I can't put it down. Order up, my guy. I 
understand. I am stuck. No tutorial steps. I did. I completed it. Yeah, just reload. I don't know what the glitch is that's keeping it from... Hey, okay. First order, salmon steak with boiled potatoes. Okay, I can do that. Get a pot, fill it with cold water. Add salt. Buy two potatoes while holding the pot. One, two. Pot in the cooker. Boil for 20 seconds. Or 120. Fetch a salmon from the fridge. Put on the cutting board. Yeah. <laughs> it with salt and black pepper. How are you today, Rock? Gosh, too much pepper. You know what? I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Maybe it's the pepper. Maybe it has to be perfect, like the first recipe. Okay. Frying in oil, so we need a pan. Place it on the cooker. I'm doing pretty good. 10 milliliters. Okay, I've been doing 20, but maybe it has to be specifically 10. 5. 10. Salmon in the pan. Fry the steak for 60 seconds. Okay, I'm, I am going to set a timer on this one. I don't know why doesn't want to let me get to the next step. Okay. Potatoes are almost done already. up the potatoes. Okay, check. Don't you fall. Flip. Okay, see, now that added an another step, so I must have just missed the step somehow. Use the spatula to flip. Okay, we flipped. Brought the steak for six seconds. Cool. Set. One minute. And we wait. Maybe I'll just go until I get the check mark. Maybe I'm just taking it off too early somehow. Hey, my music. Where did my music go off? Just very quiet. Because <coughs> I have it on 2%. Oh, I have it on 0%. That would help. Oh. Now it's playing. Still not very loud. I'll turn it up again. Okay, pick it up. Put it on the serving shelf. Okay. Yes, complete. Alright. Sweet, thanks. New order for tomato soup. No time for slacking off. Okay, well, shut up, you. 
<laughs> Thanks. Uh, find an empty pot. Okay, so this. We're in about 700 milliliters of this. A lot of milliliters. Yeah, I'm trying to look, dude. You're blocking it. Thanks for your help, Gordon Ramsay, but I don't need you at the moment. There we go. He's in the broth according to the recipe. Okay. Add to a pot 12 grams of salt. So we want this to be. Okay. 12 grams of pepper. Why do you keep popping in to tell me that? You're in my way. 6 grams of cayenne. Your head is in the way! Okay, buy 8 tomatoes. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1 onion. Onion. Place pot in the cooker. Oh, this, uh... This fire is still going. That's fine, right? No, put the, t put the tomato back. There. Okay. <laughs> yeah, right. Um, okay, boil soup. Boil for 60 seconds. Oh, I remember this, that I, I got confused. Because I didn't know if I was supposed to be looking at the ingredients or at the... 40 for now. Or at the complete mixture. Probably the mixture. But it'll probably tell me when it reaches that amount of time. No, I guess it's probably the, the ingredients. Okay, turn off the heat. Then the contents of the pot. Can you, can you turn off? I'm trying to turn it off, thank you. Blend. Blend, blend. How do I... Q? There we go. Buzz, buzz. Okay, how much? 150 milliliters. I am doing that as you speak. There we go, perfect. Okay. <coughs> I did! I, I added exactly that amount. a deep plate. Place it on the counter. I don't like this method. I don't like I don't like the method in which you prescribe how much? Okay. Yeah, right? You would think. <laughs> Wait. <clears throat> Ding! Alright, one big trout. We already did this one. Oh, excuse me. Pepper, thyme, and dill. Love dill. Bake for 
90 seconds. Okay. Put lemon into quarters. Give me lemon. Let me throw away this trout or salmon. Okay. And now what I unlocked was the ability to hold shift and have it not fall over, which is great because otherwise it will fall over and it's very annoying. But yeah, okay, that's four pieces. Um put it on the plate. And garnish with parsley, so I just gotta wait for this to finish. Are you in here? Throwing the pots is the only way I've figured out how to clean them. Can you... There we go. All of the birds died in Oh, TX, thank you for the resub. Killing them Throw it. And um, spies we're trying to be us. Master the Chef Burb. Master Burb, I don't know a good pun for that. Or not pun, but <laughs> trying to do some cooking. I actually did this game like a long time ago. Um, but I thought I'd do it again because it, it is kind of fun. It, the physics are hilarious sometimes. I've gotten much better at it now, but when I first started playing it, I was like, this game is so ridiculous with the physics. It's like, it just, you walk around and run into everything and... Right. No stars to five stars. All right, cool. Day two done. Okay, so do good stuff. Sounds good. Oh, we need a food critic. Okay. Food critic. Whoa, he's coming tomorrow. You didn't let me clean. I'm supposed to have a cleaning time. All right, two skills. Uh, what's the one with the critic? Do this one. And then also... Home from work traveling, got a cat. Aww. Yeah, it, it's a it's a funny little game. It's on Game Pass, so that's where I'm playing it through. On Xbox. Um, I mean, I'm on my PC, but I have Xbox Game Pass for PC. What do I want? I guess we'll do that one. Larger tips. Oh, okay, that's, that's a little one. Choose recipe. We want pork chops and baked potatoes or Ukrainian borscht. I'll do the pork chops. Okay, I said that one, okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> pork chops can now be found in the shop and the larder here. Oh. Hope you're ready. Four hours. Okay, am I still in prep phase? Well, let me... This is not going to be good. Because it's from yesterday. Yeah, you're fine. Medias. Can I clean the sink, please? E. Back. 
Oh my gosh. This game does not want you to actually clean things. Good enough. Okay. Um, I think I'm actually going to make a pot of this soup, so... 700 milliliters. I don't, yeah, there's not enough in there. Throw you away. Chicken broth. So 300, so I need 400 milliliters. Okay. And then. <clears throat> I didn't mean to click that, but okay. No, I didn't mean to start. All right. Big chop. Get on the plate. Move. Get in the middle. Okay. Pepper time. Thank you. Minute and a half. Oh, okay. You were just on all night. It's fine. Okay, cut a lemon. Now, it says to cut it into quarters. It doesn't really say how. And aesthetically, I like... Um, okay, give me a plate. I'm actually gonna turn up the music a little bit. I don't know why it's Christmas music. Okay. For this, I want a different recipe, whatever. spices were for this. Manager, can I pin you real quick? Cool. 12 grams of pepper and salt. That's what I mean, but open the friggin' door. Thank you. <laughs> um, I do enjoy cooking in real life, yeah. I wouldn't say that I'm amazing, especially not my knife skills. They're, they're not the best, but I do like cooking a lot. Can you shut up? I am definitely more of a baker. Because um, I really like to bake things. Five grams. Nope, six. Oh, well, it's fine. And the parsley. There you go. Trout. <coughs> cool. Food quick is about to order. Steak. Okay. Take the filet. Salt and pepper. Uh, 
Um, give me a big pot. Fill with water. Just walk over the glass, it's fine. Get some potatoes. Salt. Sunflower oil. <clears throat> I've never cooked with sunflower oil. I usually use um, avocado oil because it has a higher smoke point. And I tend to set off the fire alarm sometimes, or at least I did in our old house. It was really sensitive. So I prefer to use avocado oil because it you can you can get it higher before it starts smoking. I've gotten better. <laughs> it's mostly I think most of the times I was doing it was when I was trying to cook things in a pan, namely chicken. As in whole breast chicken. And me and Tuna have had this conversation. Cooking whole breasts in a pan, I can't do it. I have to either chop it into pieces or bake it. I cannot fry it. And it's not really even frying. It's just like sauteing. Um, it just, it does not work. It, it gets too hot on the outside. It doesn't cook through the middle. I can't get my temperature right. I don't know what the deal is. So that's usually when it would set off the fire alarm is when I was trying to cook chicken and then I just gave up. <laughs> I started just baking it all the time. Alright, can I do this? Yeah. Better at it. Give me a plate. Yeah, I and I cut it in half too. It's still just, I don't know. Can't get it doesn't like me. Okay, I think I already did the everything except the cayenne. Potatoes are done. Waiting for that. Do not fall off this plate before I get you set down. Thank you. What do we think? Ah! How dare you. Guest is pleased. We did it. New fame level, woo! You pleased the food critic. Got a new order. Pork chop. Season with salt, pepper, and thyme. I think I have told before the story of my husband um, and his attempt to make mashed potatoes. But I will tell it again. It may take me a minute because it's kind of a long story and I get distracted. But. So. I was making something in the crock pot. And I was like, hey, I was working that night. So I worked from 1 to 9, usually, when I worked nights. Um, and I worked an hour away. So I was like, hey, I've got this thing going in the crock pot. Can you, um, can you make mashed potatoes for like so that they're fresh when I get home? And he was like, yeah. So I verbally told him how to do it. I was like, you quarter the potatoes, fill, just fill the pot over the potatoes with cold water. Um, <laughs> why did I put that on the counter? Um, and then also turn you off. Wait until they're fork tender and then drain and then mash with all the other ingredients. And he was like, yeah, I can do that. And I was like, cool. 
He's not a cook. Does not, does not cook. He heats things up in the oven. That's the extent of what he has learned how to do. Um, 90 seconds on each side. What do I do for the other parts? Potato and bake. Just one potato. Um, how many chunks? Six, six chunks. Oh, look at my little trophy. So, the first thing that I noticed was he called me when I was about to leave work. And I commuted an hour home, so that was about the right time for him to start cooking it. And he was like, hey, where do you keep this ingredient? And I was already like, oh boy. But I told him, and he was like, okay, great. So, I tell him where it was, and he's like, okay, I'll do it. I can do it. And I was like, you can do it. Um, so when I get closer to home, which had been probably 40, 45 minutes at this point, he <laughs> texted me a picture, and he was like, never let me make mashed potatoes again. And I was like, oh no. Um, what is 80 seconds? That's 80 seconds, okay. Um, he was like, never let me do this again. And I was like, oh boy, why? And he's like, I made salty potato soup. Or no, he just said, you'll see. So when I get home, <laughs> He told me what he did was he took the potatoes, boiled them, you know, quartered them, boiled them, and then he was watching a video that said, you cheat and use powder. I just, I really enjoy mashed potatoes, so I was like, they're easy, you can do it. I didn't have any of the instant, I just um, had the, like, potatoes, so I was like, you can do it, I believe in you. Um, so he had boiled them and was watching, like, he was trying so hard. He was watching videos on YouTube of how to make mashed potatoes. And the person that he watched said, boil until knife tender. And I was like, well, that's your first mistake. I said fork tender, which is way different from knife tender. Knives will go in way easier than a fork. <laughs> So, he had boiled it until it was knife tender, and then strained it, and then was like, oh, you know, started mashing, was like, oh, this is not, this is not done. There was, it was still, you know, pretty hard in the middle. So he <laughs> put more water in, and boiled them again which he already had started mashing, so it already washed away a lot of the potato. So when he's redoing all of this, it had already washed away a bunch of potato, so there was less potato to begin with. So he redid that. Why does it taste bad? What did I do wrong? I was distracted. It's fine. Um, what did I do wrong? Oh, look, tomato soup that I'm already halfway done with. Because I was trying to get ahead of it. Uh, boil for 60 seconds. Um. Dang. Stupid. Can I, can I clean? I think I need the mop. Um. Doing great. Okay. Okay. So <laughs> he reboiled them and then had strained it again, mashed it again, added the ingredients. So the thing was, I left him the recipe card for it. And on the recipe card, it had the ingredients on the front and the instructions on the back. Well, he didn't flip it over. He just read the ingredients because I had explained to him the process. So he didn't read the instructions. I don't think he knew that if you flipped it over, there was instructions. So what he did was where it said one tablespoon of salt plus one teaspoon of salt. 
he put all of that into the post boil mixture rather than put the tablespoon of salt into the boiling water and then only using the teaspoon of salt in the potatoes after the fact after they've been mashed so because of that there was a lot of salt and it was also mostly water because he had boiled so much of it away so what he ended up doing was making very salty potato soup oh i forgot the cream now oh they didn't seem to care <clears throat> so that <laughs> after that he was like i'm never doing this again <laughs> and now every time we have mashed potatoes i'm like look this is how you do mashed potatoes <laughs> um there's there's a mess everywhere i don't care and he's like yeah 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 but it just it cracks me up the fact like he was trying so hard <laughs> Because he was, like, watching videos and everything on how to do it. And he just missed the mark on a couple things. But they were apparently a couple very important things. Yeah. Oh, there, there it is. This is not a very sanitary kitchen. And clean up a little bit because man is in a mess. We'll put you over here. Excuse me. Hey. Stop getting stuck. Can I go out here? No. Aw, I was hoping I could. I'm getting the hang of it. I'm getting better at it. Potatoes are getting there. Yeah, I think that's oh, excuse me. Can I clean, please? Thank you. Well, no, hang on. Oh, still going. Come on, potatoes, you can do it. Oh, that's an oven? Is that a? I'll never know. Oh my gosh! Never know. How would they know? Are you not gonna keep going? Did I turn you off? I did. I'm sorry. <clears throat> yeah, this is not a kitchen you want to eat out of. <laughs> It's going out. 
Yeah, they only tasted the floor a little bit. Do they have commons? No. Yeah. Too much and not enough salt. All right. That works. Last order, okay. Dump the soup. Dab a dab a dab a dab. The cleaning mechanisms are not great in this game. That's it. I think I'm gonna need a repair guy soon for this. I turn off. It's, it's, it's looking like it's gonna break. I make coffee. Can go real fast. to the next <clears throat> oh my gosh so much XP perk uh do we want to go fast have break I kind of like the heat proof glove um Yeah, I kind of like the heat proof glove. And then just start doing my points. Oh, that's it. Okay, cool. Recipe gazpacho, grilled tuna steak, or steak with french fries. I like that. Gonna need some new ingredients for this recipe. You can find them in the store or the larder. Okay. Oh, you can use the shop or the larder to get our new rosemary twig. Okay. Right. I pin more than just that. I don't think I really want to prep anything else except I'll cut some potatoes and some lemons. Yeah. I know, I'm scared, especially when I'm, like, frying stuff. Um, I think that's all I want to chop, is just get one of each of these prepped. And 
actually, how do you cut the... How do you cut the potatoes like that? 15 gram pieces. How do I do that? Actually, you know what? The other one said 300 gram, didn't it? But one potato said it was 150 grams. Gasp. Do I need two of them then? That seems like too much. Like, that's not in the picture for... Yes, we do it. How do I cut these, though? I think I can figure out how to use the... that machine, the choppy chop. Food processor or I'm at excuse me. <laughs> What's this do? How you work? Hey. <laughs> yeah. Hey. Oh. Well, that's fun. I mean, these are about the right size for what it said. That it wanted 15 gram slices and then to use the deep fryer. So like, I like how it just fills. Ah, there's the oil. That later, okay. All right, I think I am ready to tackle the day. We got the, some of the prep done. Or should I make tomato soup? I don't know. I just always feel like tomato soup is like the thing that is going to take a while. And it's, if there's multiple orders and I make more than one, I can just do it. I need 150 more. It gives me busy work to do if I'm like waiting for stuff to cook. How they stack. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Right? One, two, three, four. I can't count. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Onion. Should open the doors. First guest should arrive shortly. Ding. Pork chop. I improve upon my pork chop that the other person really didn't like. Salt, four grams. in time. I 
add to the pan with boiling. It's like not really heating. Interesting. Okay. Okay, 30 milliliters. Pork chop. Excuse me. You're not heating. There it goes. I don't know what that was about. Uh, take a potato. Six grams of salt. Baking tray for 80 seconds. And transfer on the plate. Put it here. How are you doing? You're almost done. And the flip almost. It's gonna ring and it's gonna be annoying. Oh no. Oh no. That was interesting. Hey, yes, thank you. I'm gonna actually move you to this front burner because that was annoying. Over here, 150 milliliters of cream. More cream. Yes, yes, hang on. Thank you. How many potatoes? Alright. Cream. Just need like just over 50. Okay, that's ready for whenever anybody orders tomato soup. if they like this one better. I think it may be the potatoes that I didn't have enough. Yeah, that was better. Complaints. Too much salt, not enough salt, not enough salt. <laughs> okay. I wonder if there's like a way you're supposed to mix it so that the flavors are all equal. I don't know. Tomato soup. Hey, look at that. I will use the ladle because it's right here. Oh, how much is this? 150, 50, okay. Let's do the one. Because it makes no sense to pour. <laughs> pour it from the pot. 
thing. Order up. Hey. Ding. Okay, how do I do this? Steak. salt and pepper buy and transfer on a plate take those salt six grams I transfer, okay. So, let's put that back. Now, what's in this pot? Yum. How much oil? Oh, no oil, okay. Interesting. Five seconds. Five thirty seconds. I interact with this. Where are the baskets? Do I not? Do I need to buy a deep frying basket? All right, basket. Okay, fine. Yum. Okay, shut up. But also, I need you. Did I actually? I didn't even check if it was fully cooked to where it wanted it to be. Oh well. All right, fire basket. One piece of potato is on the ground. I'm sorry. Oh boy. Okay, that didn't work. Just yeah, just put them in. One from the floor, the, the three from the floor. No. Why are you falling through? They're falling through the fryer basket. What the heck, dude? Why would you do that to me? Gosh. Um, okay, well then how am I supposed to... I think it's just if you move. Are they done? I think they're done. Yeah. Do I need to do not fall off this plate? There's Mary Garnish. I said do not fall off this plate. What are you doing? How's that? <laughs> it's not french fries, but it's fried potatoes. Okay, they liked it. <laughs> cool, thanks. Ding. Again, they really liked it. Okay. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine.
Oh, you know what? It doesn't have any oil in it. Okay, well, and now I need two more potatoes. Um, give me that tray back. Where's my tray? There you are. Dump. Dump the potatoes. Goodbye. Get in there. Button. Thanks. Okay. Dump. Good enough. Nothing stuck. Potatoes. How you doing? Can't put it in there. What do you mean? Yeah, just reach into the boiling hot, you know, thing. It's fine. Yeah, I need a really big plate. Hey, cats! <laughs> I'm just stressfully cooking things. How are you? Are you done? Oh, yeah. They're they're getting ready to burn. There we go. We have potatoes. Yay. When's the steak going to be done? Almost. That's good. This is cooking simulator. Uh, it's very fun, but also kind of stressful. Oh, I didn't, I didn't salt the potatoes. Just, yeah, it's fine. There. Good enough. There you go, order up. I butt that cooking meter on the mistake butt. <laughs> I know, right? I wish it would work like that. I love potatoes. Too much salt, not enough salt, not enough salt. Alright, whatever. Oh, I forgot the rosemary. Okay, who's next? Pork chop. The physics in this game are so funny. Like, I'm actually doing okay, but when you first start playing it, it's so weird to, to figure out. Pepper. What's that, please? Uh, 30 milliliters to the pan. Put that back. 90 seconds. Potato. Chunks. That's a lemon. How much potato? 300 potato. Don't you fall off this cutting board. Thank you. Alright. 50 gram chunks. Let's do one. One. Fourth cup of coffee in the last hour. You're doing great. Uh, six grams of salt. It is... I don't understand how this works. Uh, season of salt. Bake for 80 seconds, okay.
Oh, you're setting up your AC. Nice. We're gonna need to do that pretty soon. Because we don't have AC. So we're gonna have to buy a little window unit. take this yeah there's salt and pepper on it I'm just gonna boop pow I don't know how to clean it, it doesn't like it doesn't give me a clean option can I just use a sponge <laughs> what the heck is that Just to stand up using the hose thing. Yeah, that's what we had in Korea. It was just the the living room had a, a big one that like came with the apartment. And then we bought a little extra one um, to put in the bedroom. And that one. Oh, you jerk. The um. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm coming. The bedroom one had a um. Oh my gosh, it's so so hot. Apparently had a dehumidify option that we used, um, and we had to, like, we had to change the bucket, because it was a, a drip into a bucket, we had to change the bucket, like, twice a day, and then it, um, and it was, like, a two-gallon bucket, it was so humid, yeah, I'm in the UK right now, so that's how it is here as well, it's not, not many houses have it. Yeah, exactly. We're gonna we're gonna do one upstairs. Oh, you jerk. Um, in the master bedroom, and then maybe I don't think we'll get one for anywhere else in the house. We'll just have fans because I can't see where we would put like an exit. You know, the hose trout. Like we just don't really have space. But in the master bedroom, we have a good window for it. Oh no. Okay. Place on baking tray. Why not just put it on it? Alright, whatever. Eighty seconds, I think. Ninety seconds, but close enough. Cut lemon and quarters. Got it. Go ahead and get the the garnish. Yeah, <laughs> and it was like you know you have to make sure you do it or else it's gonna overflow because it's not like the ones that fill up the bucket and then have a, a meter and then stop like you have to be on it and thankfully we never had an issue like we never had it overflow or anything but it was you know it's a constant thing you got to be on top of come on Change this music. That's it. All right. No. Oh. Yeah, that's a long time for an AC unit. Yeah. 
Not quite. Oh no. It's one of those things they don't make like they used to. Yeah, that's not good. We couldn't bring ours. Um, and even if we had, it was an American plug and we live off base, so we live in a UK house. Um, oh no, wait, hang on. Got the horseradish. So we'll have to buy another one here. But we'll probably have to get it off base because a lot of on base, like at the BX, for some reason they mostly sell EU plugs instead of UK plugs. And I don't know why, because like, I'm in the UK. I don't know why you're selling the EU plugs. The voltage sh should be fine, but it's the plug itself that's not. So we'd have to either use an adapter or go off base and buy one. finish up and start cleaning the kitchen okay can I put this in the fridge and like use it tomorrow I don't know how that works probably not yeah, no. yeah so here we have to worry about if our US appliances are gonna be safe to use with the dual voltage which I st thanks I started um using electrical tape to label them <laughs> so that I knew like which ones could be used without the transformer which ones we needed to use the transformer so I have my red electrical tape and my green electrical tape so I know what's what Yeah, and we had we had asked or I had asked like, "Hey, I want to screw things into the wall. Like, can I am I able to do that?" And if so, I had heard that like the, you know, the wiring is different in the walls, so I'm like, "How do I avoid hitting anything electrical?" And they were like, my letting agency was like, nah, "We don't know. Good luck." And I was like, "What? What?" <laughs> I just want to make sure I don't electrocute myself or drill into anything important. And they were like, yeah, we don't know how to how to figure that out. And I was like, okay. <clears throat> yeah, I don't know what ring lines are. I don't know that we've encountered those yet. What are you? Oh, I dropped a potato. Hmm, okay. I'm sure my husband would understand that, but I am, um, he's, he's an electrician, I am not, so I don't really know how outlets and stuff are put together. Okay, so we're in the positive, that's good. New decoration available. I haven't actually looked at the decorations yet. Miss June. I had a moment <laughs> this morning. Uh, I was still in bed. And, she, oh, okay, goodbye then. Um, she was, like, she started, like, in the morning being like, <laughs> um, because usually my husband will feed her in the morning when he gets home from work because he works nights and then I'll feed her dinner. Um, and, but since he's deployed, um, I've been the one feeding her both meals and she's like, Hey, 
get up <laughs> in the morning, and I'm not, like, sleeping in super late, but she's just like, excuse me, it's breakfast time, um, so I thought that she was just doing that this morning, where she was, like, getting up and moving around and being like, hey, give me up, um, but then I heard her licking her lips a lot, and I was like, you're not about to throw up, because sometimes in the morning, she will get, um, you know, a little bit, she'll just throw up stomach acid, like, it's not really, like, she's not, like, throwing, I was just, like, kind of stomach acid, but it's very rare, but she just occasionally will, um, and she, so I was like, go downstairs, because <laughs> we live in a three-story house, and, um, so I'm, like, rushing her, and we get to the middle floor, and I'm like, she's not gonna make it down the next place, <laughs> so I drag her into the bathroom, because that's, like, the only tile in the house is the bathrooms in the kitchen, and she threw up, but she threw up on tile, and I was like, yes, because I was like, I do not want to clean up the carpet, <laughs> so I thankfully got to that in time. <laughs> So she didn't throw up on my carpet. Yeah. She was, like, not happy with me, but I was like, whatever. But then she, um, I only gave her a half breakfast. Oh, we got our food critic, okay. Oh, wait, here's the Christmas music. She's limited to a number. UK does... Oh, okay. Okay, I kind of I kind of get that the way you explained it. Um and I'm assuming that's different from the standard. Of the day? Oh, today's special is thinking for I need to figure out how to get the french fries. Do I just cut them? What are you? Interesting. Um is there a way that I can cut them? Can I buy something to cut them? Really, I guess I just need to get good at cutting things. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's always fun. To be special. <laughs> um. Uh, I guess I'm gonna goof around with some potatoes and see if I can cut them into french fry shapes. what I'm doing is not french fry, it's just potato. Okay, but now I need to Uh, the only thing I know is that States is typically 120 volt, and UK is 240 volt, meaning, uh, oh my gosh, why, um, you know what, just cut it, meaning that if you use US appliances here that are not rated, for 240 volt, they could just blow, which I had happen one time in Korea when I tried to plug in an extension cord in the middle of the night, and it was not rated for 240, and it went, Poof! and <laughs> my husband woke up and he was like, what'd you do? <laughs> and I was like, I don't know, I just like went poof. Nothing happened, like there wasn't a fire or anything. I was just like <laughs> it was just... And I was like ah Okay. <clears throat> I'm just 
gonna I'm just gonna do it. Here, I am gonna buy an extra one of those. gonna buy an extra one of the, the things so that I can do I'm just gonna use this guy I don't care if they look like french fries it'll be fine uh, get another automatic cutter buy there push the button okay thanks got you lined up for french fries in there boom Alright, we've got three things of french fries loaded up and ready to go. <laughs> yes, electricity? Good. <laughs> uh, I guess I'll cut one lemon in case somebody orders the trout. Go ahead and get some plates over here too. Are they? No, there aren't any on that side. First guest should arrive shortly, okay. <coughs> uh, salmon, steak, and potato. Salt and pepper. husband works on the electrical components of aircraft. The electrical and environmental, so it's the like air cooling systems. That's about all I know about it. Add water to a pot. Yeah, he really enjoys it. That's which is good. He works on a different jet than he used to, so he's had to do some retraining. But he doesn't mind it, I don't think. <laughs> Better treat them right! <laughs> okay, when do I flip you soon? Casserole, put it back. Three. Square plate. <laughs> I should probably buy another pan. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that, actually. Um, I'm a pan. Hey, keep going. Why'd you stop cooking? There you go. <laughs> uh, 
No? Can you just pick it up? Thank you. Do not fall off this plate. Thank you very much. What am I doing wrong? What what don't you like? Are you just picky? Too much salt. That's exactly the amount of salt that you asked for. There's gotta be something that I'm doing a little bit different from how I'm supposed to do. Sweet and smoky salmon. Okay, let's take salmon filet. White pepper. Okay, gotta go buy white pepper. Black pepper, three grams. It, it, yeah, I would agree with you as well. Five grams of salt, yeah. Oh my gosh, that's way too much salt. I'm sorry. You're just gonna have a lot of salt. I'm sorry, I'm not, I'm not doing anything about it. Um, smoked pepper. I actually need more paprika, I realized that tonight. 10 grams. Drizzle. Lime juice and olive oil. Drizzle. Ah. Olive oil. Drizzle in the pan? I think in the pan. Five milliliters. Maybe it meant on top of it. Oh, we're grilling. Yeah, okay. Grill. Is this the grill? Green? That's not very appetizing. Uh, six seconds each side. Lemon quarters. Okay. Garnish parsley. Okay. Can do. Hold on, let me go dump this. The <laughs> rubber's like, do you even lift? Not a great way to clean your pots, I love. <laughs> I need another spatula. Um spatula. Two tongs. Okay. I know me too. <laughs> That was like one of the big requirements that I had for our house was the dishwasher because I was like, I can't deal with, oh no, that's not how you do it at all, okay. Put it down. Okay. Okay. Uh <laughs> Tongs are a no-no then. I need two spatulas. What do you mean I can't put it here? Well then get me somewhere to hang it. 
out there. Yeah, I even cast iron though. I get too stressed about it because one time, and my dad will never let me forget this, I scrubbed his cast iron down too far when I was cleaning it. But I mean, in my defense, you made me do the dishes, so like, you gotta tell me how to clean something if I'm not supposed to scrub it. Um, <laughs> and he's never let me live it down. So ever since then, I'm like too scared to use cast iron. <laughs> I know so many people swear by it. I just don't. I I need to, though, because I don't want to keep using the pots that I'm using. I want to, like, invest in something that's not going to wear out as much. Alright. Um, just parsley? Okay. Where did my fish go? Excuse me, sir. You can't just jump ship like that. Yeah, I've heard from, like, TikToks and stuff that it's fine to actually use soap. It's just, like, don't really scrub it. And, like, if you want to get off some of the stuck-on stuff, just, like, heat it back up and do stuff to it. What we got? Chop. You. I don't know. Just right there. The times that I've cooked on it, I've liked it, I think. I really like that they're oven safe and that you can just bake in it. Like, you can cook on it and then bake in it. And... Yeah, no, they're hefty. That is for sure. Where is my fish? Sir? <laughs> Are you good? He ran away! Get back here! Hey! Hey! Oh my gosh. <laughs> uh, Alright. No, get over here. <laughs> or not. <laughs> Alright. Start again. Uh, I'm working. I'm working here. Don't tell me what to do. Don't tell me what to do. What did he order? Tomato soup. See, I knew I should have pre prepped it ahead of time. Oh, no! Alright. Uh, use this one. Can I not crouch? Oh, you can't crouch? I've been trying to crouch this whole time. Bruh. What do you get, lemon? Alright, TX. Enjoy your cuddles. Hope you have a good night and welcome home. I said I was going to get a lot of that steak because it was a special. Oh, excuse me. Get the, um, get the soup started. Tomatoes. 
onion. I always almost put the potato in. There we go. Um. Yep, yep, I'm coming. Not break this plate. Horseradish? Parsley. Okay. And it was suddenly light. Oh, that's funny. Because you were like, oh, I'm, I'm getting the game. <laughs> Blend out sour cream in a deep plate. Okay. Here. Enough. Five stars. Yay! New order. New order. Got two. Who said I was allowed to get two at a time? Powder or smoked pepper. And then drizzle in lime and olive juice. <gasps> I know, right? <laughs> Grill this one. Nope, put that back. Grill is still on, I'm sorry. Um, and then let's start on this one. Just leave the door wide open, it's fine. Five and five. Um, Sunflower oil. I'm actually getting pretty fast at this. Last time I was struggling. The pot, liter water. How are you doing? Potato. They're boiling. Can wait, because I need to flip this one first. I'm mad that you can't hang it. Okay. And then I think I need a lemon too, right? Which one of these requires a lemon? You require a lemon. 
I like how they just put the trophy on the floor. Hi Dan, the high man, thanks for the lurk. Doing fine. Where are the potatoes? Potatoes are going. Same is going. We're done. I have not gotten a single order for steak, so I guess that thing about it being a special was a lie. Lemon and parsley, okay. Star, very nice. Salmon. Potatoes are almost done. Off. gonna be as good as it's gonna get. There you go. Enjoy. Boiled potatoes. And then we're doing pork chop. Salt, pepper, thyme. to the pan, some flour oil. 30. Okay, and then potatoes. Bake potatoes. I still need to call and get that Fixed. I need to season the potatoes. Why would you, why would you do that? Give me that phone. The, the thing swung outward. Like it swung around. Yeah. I just like these large plates because stuff doesn't seem to fall off as easily. My potatoes prepped and ready for french fries that nobody wants. I didn't even turn you on.
Hang on. Give me this stupid tray. Pick up the potatoes from the floor. No, pick it up. Please put it in. Please put it somewhere in there. Are you going to do it? Thank you for working. Uh, yeah, it's kind of sus. They don't stop you. Like, nobody says anything if you pick something up off the floor or do anything. So I'm like, okay. <laughs> the physics in this game make it so that if you drop stuff so easily. So I'm just like, oopsie. Guess that's going back on the plate. <laughs> what are you? There you go. Order up. <coughs> Enjoy your floor potatoes. See, they liked them. They said it tasted fine. Guess complaint was just too much salt, not enough salt, and not enough salt. So, yeah, it's fine. Bad cutting technique. What do you mean, bad cutting technique? Good judgment cutting. Alright, time to dump everything. Sorry, soup. I wish they would let you make less soup because it's so much soup. Casually burning the place down all the time, it's fine. With this nasty sink. You kind of need a repair soon, and if you break, I don't have another oven, so we're going to repair you. Oh, okay. Still on. Nasty oil. What's sting? Are you done? Good. Get out of here. Yep, dump all the potatoes that didn't get used. Thanks for telling me that it was potato day. So the special was the potatoes and then I didn't sell any. Waste of ingredients. Okay. I'm good. I can put. Can I do some decor? It says you can buy decor. Yeah, decorations. Uh. Ooh. Really? <laughs> Horror. Oh, I can only. What do I have right now? Just basic. No one. 
Fancy, I like it. That's the achievement I just got. Ooh, hotel. Let's do that one too. Oh, there's more. Cute. Concrete's not bad, actually. Not that I look up ever. For... I think I just like the the wood for that one. Oh, the olive. I love olive when it comes to that kind of thing, so we're doing that. Okay. Oh, it's so cute! I love it! Alright. On to the next day. You going back up in your chair? Time for dishwashing. You're like, okay. Good luck with the dishwashing. Negative $400. That's fine. We bought a bunch of stuff. <sighs> Choose perk. Do we want to walk faster? Plates never break. That might be a good one. Um, <clears throat> the thermal vision is also nice, though, but I can just open the door. Um, slow motion might be kind of nice. I think I'm going to do the unbreakable plates for now, though. And we have six skill points. I think I want to earn more money. Products cost less. Uh, and then I can do these too. Choose recipe, baked cod, pumpkin soup, or chicken pumpkin stew. Um, that's nice and simple, we'll just do that. My neck is like, not very happy at the moment. Okay. I really like how the tile looks is very nice. All right, let's go ahead and make the tomato soup. Chicken broth. Two mils. Not very much. Six hundred and some. engine that's pretty good um 12 grams of salt twelve grams of black pepper six grams of cayenne Eight tomatoes and one onion. Boil that. While that's going, we can maybe make a potato soup. Or, um, was it pumpkin? Chicken broth, 500. Need 130. Okay. Uh, 20 grams of salt.
hundred grams of pumpkin or a thousand grams of pumpkin, which pretty sure you just have to cut like a piece off. So it's five kilograms, I think like One point two good enough. But let me put there. Set it up a little smaller. Uh, and an one onion? How much is it? 120? Yeah. Well, for 90 seconds, this is burning. Sorry. It's fine. And this gets 150 milliliters of sour cream. How much is left in there? 35, okay. So I need like 115. And I think that's it. serve hot I could probably just heat it back up <laughs> whenever it's time to serve or can I put it in here I don't really know what this is for can I wonder if that keeps it hot okay so I need the pumpkin to cook before the onion burns I think it'll be fine I mean, it's starting to burn, but I think it's fine. Restaurant is now open. Okay, great. New order of the trout. Five grams black pepper. Almost there, you can do it. There we go. Blend, well no, okay, one sec. Time. Still. Bake for 90 seconds. Why do you do this, fish? What the heck is your deal? Okay. Um, turn you off. Get the floor blender, it's fine. Sour cream, 150. Just under. Oh. I actually get in there? I don't know. Uh. Okay. Doesn't look like it's on the. Eh, it kind of is. Okay. That's fine. Okay. Uh, back to you. Get a lemon. Get a plate. Some parsley. 
<coughs> and then wait for the fish. Fish is almost ready. And the fish needs horseradish. Okay, it's done. star thank you very much I'll probably just get through this day and then go ahead and raid it out what, what do we got now bring it on now is this keeping the soup warm can't tell now you order the steak and the fries all right um that was yesterday's special. Um, fry for 45 seconds on each side. Can do. Clean this one for now. Um, take the basket. New potatoes. I'll come back, potato. Thank you. Yeah. Button. Thank you. Fill you with oil. Spend five hours total across all modes. Okay, I've played this game for five hours now. <laughs> Good enough. Back. I did not season the potato with salt. That's all. 30 seconds. Whenever you're done, I will get you out. Frying. Alright, get him out, get him out. Oh, the potatoes. Mary. Oh my gosh, you stupid potatoes. Got steak. There you go. Enjoy. Bon appetit. trout. This is fine, right? Totally normal. Put 
it in there. Please. Please. Oh, rude. I cut the lemon. Parsley. Go. Jim is snoring behind me. Get in there. I think the next, whenever I get the chance to do the ability to see through the glass, that'll be what I do. Nobody's ordering my soup. Now, if I heat it back up, does that make it hot? Yeah, it does. Beautiful. Fish on a plate, give me that horseradish. Enjoy your trout. Oh good, you enjoyed it. Serve 25 dishes, nice. That's the achievement I just got. Guest complaints, everything's perfect. Cool, thanks. I try. Not very hard, but I do try. Ding. Salmon filet. Salt pepper. Some, oh my gosh, I need a pot. I'm gonna buy another pot. All this water just for two potatoes. Whoops. Um, okay. E. Good job. This is just such a constant thing. They never go away. Smoke powder, not you.
olive. Oops, it's on the floor. It's fine. On the grill. You done? Almost. So you're getting there. Yeah, that's the worst too. When it's like piled up. I hate it because it's piled up where I want to put the clean dishes. So I feel like I'm stuck. Because I'm like, I need to get them out of the way to be able to clean them. But I don't have anywhere to put them. So sometimes it takes me a bit when that happens. I think I need a lemon, right? Almost. <clears throat> okay, I am going to set that there for now because my daily quest is to serve two within two minutes of each other, so I'm gonna wait until it's ready to serve. Come on. Oh, I can put it there, okay. Um, lemon into quarters. On the plate. Parsley. Order up. Okay, tastes good. Perfect. I think that I did everything on this one, yeah. Oh yeah, sandal season. No, that's literally the reason why I haven't worn like flip flops and stuff recently is because it's like, oh, uh, my toes. You did okay, I guess. Um, cause I'm like, I need to paint my toenails. Excuse me. How dare you? Okay, we're gonna do two pork chops then. Two pork chops. One over here. Um, salt, four grams. This is totally fine. Don't mind this at all. Um, black pepper. Lime. Oh. to the pan. No, not you. How much? 30 milliliters. And then potatoes. <clears throat> I need four potatoes. That's a lemon. Not fall off this. Thank you.
good enough. <laughs> I'm gonna bake them all at the same time. Then I'll just divvy them up. Oh, how much salt? Six, twelve. I don't actually know if I can batch cook like this, so we're testing it out. gonna get it when you get it. You're not gonna be able to get it faster. Just because you're in a rush. I'm glad two orders of the same thing came in at the same time though. Don't do that to me. Oh, I didn't mean to take it out. It's a little underdone, but that's fine. If they're in a rush, they can get it a little worse than it's supposed to be. There, Mr. In a Rush. That's what you get. Ah. My dad was supposed to get me a one of the gel lights for my birthday <laughs> in December. When he said he was gonna get it for me, but then he called me. Like a couple weeks ago, and I was like, hey, I'm just gonna send you the money and you can get it yourself. And I was like, okay. And then I still haven't seen the money, so. Oh well. But I was gonna use the gel for like my toes and stuff because it lasts way longer. Yeah, good times. He means well, he just doesn't always follow through. But, um. So whenever I get it, I'll probably just go ahead and end up buying it before he sends me the money, and then whenever he gets around to it, gets around to it, but, um, I had actually never really done gel until I was home for my sister-in-law's wedding, and, um, there it is, and I did gel, and I was like, oh my gosh, this is amazing. <laughs> I hate, really, like, how, like, fragile my nails are afterwards, but it just lasts so long. Yeah, I used to do my own nails a ton. Um, I really don't as often anymore. Um, but I want to. And I think if I had the gel and it would last longer, I would be more inclined to do it because it wouldn't be like all this work for a couple days before it starts chipping. Did it reheat? Oh, it did. Yeah. I used to be so into it, but... Oh, not enough sour cream, okay, cool. Like, I would spend hours doing, like, different designs and all this fancy stuff. Trout.
Oh, I didn't. I'm not supposed to put salt on it. Oh, well, it's fine. I can just have salty fish. Yeah, I know. Um, I was so excited when I got those little tools where you do the dots and stuff. I think I still have them somewhere. But I never got my nails done. Like, I always did them myself. I never have never spent the money to do them on a regular basis. I only really get them done, like, when I'm home and my sister wants to go or if it's, like, a special event. But even then, I usually ask for regular polish and not gel because of how much it does damage my nails oh that would be so cute because my nails currently are like super strong i don't take any supplements or anything for them but i think it's because i haven't painted them for so long that they're just like they're much harder than they used to be um, so I kind of hate to go back to damaging them like that because I like when they're longer and they break when they get too long. Um, but I think the gel might actually help it, like help them get longer because it'll kind of strengthen them. So I don't know. I'll see if I get back into it or not. I definitely want the, the little gel machine though for like my toes and stuff. And I have over on the wall, I have a little holder with all my nail polish. And it used to be so much more, but when I moved, I had to get rid of a lot of it. Oops. <laughs> yeah. They get so thin. Like, the, uh, the one and only time that I've had the acrylics they were so thin after I took them off and I like I think I went back to have them taken off so they were like taken off the way they were supposed to or no maybe I actually did them at home I don't remember but either way it was just one time that I had them on and my nails were like wrecked after that oh was it nice I, I don't know if this pumpkin will be okay if I leave it out. I don't know what that temperature sign. That, pr that probably means if it's hot, like after it's been cooked. Um, I guess go ahead and dump everything. Not gonna save until tomorrow. Back. <coughs> There's a sponge. <clears throat> dub -a -dub -a -dub -a -dub. All right, I am going to finish out the cleaning and do like the skill points and everything, and then I'll go find somebody to raid. It is 10:43 here, and I should probably get ready for bed. Good. Oops, I just clicked out of the game. <laughs> okay. Um, I think here looks good. Turn that off. I think the grill is still on, isn't it? Yep. Okay. <clears throat> Did she leave your nails natural? Paint your toes. Okay, can I get that one thing where I can see the temperature? Yeah, thermal vision. Do that one. And then, how many points do I have? Six.
gonna start doing all the ones that are like not upgraded yet. Taste tolerance. I want the prep phase to be longer, I think. Okay. Choose a recipe. Christmas ham or lobster tail. I kind of want the lobster tail. Cool. Alright, I'm going to see if I need to save or if I just like, if it auto saves. <laughs> the Christmas music just cracks me up. Okay. Save details. Why are my save details weird? Oh, okay. Yeah, sure. Alright. Back to menu. Enjoy the Christmas music while I find someone to raid. Yes, thank you for stopping by. It was just a goofy little stream. I played this game a while ago and wanted to play it again. Um... If you have any recs for a raid, let me know. Because I don't see a lot of people on right now. Yeah, Snoozy's just about the only, only person I see, so I'll go raid her. Oh, and it's my 10 month sub anniversary, so perfect. I like how it says intended for mature audiences with just about every <laughs> every person I raid. Alright, I hope you have a good rest of your night cats and anyone else who is watching and I will see you guys later.